Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions. Today, I'm going to show you how to do a reverse geocode using the MMQGIS plugin in QGIS. I'll leave a link down in the description below on a video I did on how to install that plugin and how to do a standard geocode. So with the reverse geocode, that's when we have the XY coordinates or the latitude longitude, and we don't have the site address. So we'll go over two examples. One where we'll have a CSV file the latitude and longitude, and we'll find those site addresses. And then the second example we'll do is we'll actually create points on the map, and then we'll find out what those site addresses are. So let's begin. So let's go and bring in that CSV file. So I'm going to go over to Layers, Add Layer, and then Add Delimited Text Layer. With this button here, I'm just going to browse to where that layer lives. And here is my sample. XY data CSV file. So I'll click open to open that up. Now it's just, here's the, uh, the data itself. I just have latitude and longitude. Now right over here, I'm gonna need to add, um, specify the, the field names here. So once I do that, I'll click on add and then close. Here's my data set and automatically my points are displayed. So again, if I go to the attribute table here, you'll see it's just latitude and longitude. We want to find out what those site addresses are. So we come up to our MMQGIS plugin, go down to geocode, reverse geocode. My input layer name is just going to be that feature class called sample XY data. The web service, we're going to use the OpenStreetMap post to Google. If you're using Google, you're going to need that API key, and that's a little bit beyond what I wanted to demonstrate in this video. And we're going to define a output location. And I'll just say temp one. And I'll say save and apply. Now, again, I have 20 features, so it's going to take a, a few minutes, but what I'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, stop the video here, and we'll pick it up once it's done. Okay, so the reverse geocoding process is complete. I could close out of this window, and let's go ahead and take a look at that shape file. I'll loop up the attribute table, and as you can see, we have our site addresses. So again, this is pulling from OpenStreetMap, so it's going to pull in some additional information, which is wonderful. We have the building, uh, the type of building, and we have the long um, site address. We have the street number, name, city, state, zip, and of course, the country. So that concludes the first example. And so for the next example, we're actually going to create some random points, and then we'll get the site address that way. So what we'll do is go to Layer, Create a Layer, a new shapefile layer, and we could direct to where we want to keep that and i'm just going to say uh temp point layer save now the geometry type we're going to select point so we're going to do points and you could obviously add some field names to it um but for this this example we'll just keep it just blank there's going to be an id number which i'll have to manually add that's by default and that's okay so let me click OK. And we can either right click here, toggle editing to start editing, or we could just come up here to the toolbar and click on the pencil uh, to, to start editing. So once I do that, I can see right here, I'm able to add points. So let's just zoom in here and we'll just add a few points. We'll put a point right here. And again, this is the ID where I need to manually add a a unique number. So I'll say one. Let's scroll over here. I'll put another one. And finally, let's put a oops, let's put a point right here. So we'll have three points. Okay, so I will save that. I'll toggle out of editing. So I have three points. And let me just show you by opening the attribute table. Got my three points. So again, we will reverse geocode by going to the MMQGIS plugin, go over to geocode, reverse geocode. My temp point layer is what I just created. Web service, again, we'll use OpenStreetMap. 
and I will say for my output, I'll say temp point layer one. And I will apply. So three features, this should be quite quick. Um, okay, so the geo, uh, the reverse geo code process is complete. So we close out this window. And if I right click onto that new layer, go to the attribute table, and here is my site address for those locations. Anyway, I hope you guys find that useful. Um, as always, please leave a comment below if you guys have any questions or suggestions on future videos. As always, I really appreciate it if you like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.